got started in basketball mainly because of my family. Like my father was a ball player, uncles was ball players. So I got started playing basketball that way and then started playing when I was in the second grade, I believe. Started playing organized in the second grade. So that was uh, rec league basketball and probably my first memory actually was like rec league basketball being coached by my dad and just playing with my friends from school in rec league. Uh, I really want, I, I like Miami a lot um, outside of basketball and what really drew me here, one of the reasons was that I'm from Cleveland so I wanted to get uh, out of the, the northern part of the state. I wasn't very familiar with southern Ohio so coming down here I, was, I felt like I wasn't too far from home but still in Ohio where I could meet some new different types of cultures and people and things like that and we have, I think we have a really nice college town here so I, I like uh, I, I like being feeling like I'm part of a family, part of being part of the history. Like for example, it's a lot of players like that play here in the past who I got a chance to meet and things like that. And I think it's really like cool to have a common thread with those types of people like Ron Harper, Devin Davis, Wally Zerbiak, Juby Johnson. Like those are some of the guys that I got to meet that were part of Miami basketball. And I, it's nice to have a common thread with those types of guys. So. Oh yeah, me and me and Coach Cooper have a good relationship. So ever since he came, uh, I, I I actually when when he first got here, I, I did not know that me and him are actually part of the same fraternity. So that's one common thread between me and Coach Cooper, Alpha Phi Alpha. We are both members of that fraternity, so we kind of hit it off from there instantly when he came. So all the basketball I played, my favorite memory would probably be my sophomore year. I played in North Carolina. So that was kind of like a, a very fun experience being, you know, in North Carolina playing where Jordan, James Worthy and all of them played, playing against the Tar Heels. At the time they had Harrison Barnes, John Henson, they had about six or seven pros. It was just a really fun experience. I had a pretty good game, so it was a fun experience. Uh, an hour before tip-off, I'd probably be in the locker room just sitting in my locker listening to music. Like, I like to listen to music before games just to kind of calm me down, just to occupy my mind. I don't like my mind to wander before games because then I start thinking too much, so I like to just chill and be at ease. The toughest road trip in the MAC, I think, is Buffalo. The Buffalo is a tough road trip, number one, because geographically for us it's a very long trip. So a lot of times we'll have to leave a little bit earlier than usual to get to Buffalo. Then when we get to Buffalo, it's cold. It's a lot colder than probably where we at down in Oxford. So then on top of that, they're a physical team. So it's, it's kind of a gritty trip all together. Buffalo, definitely. Uh, if I was a GM of an NBA team, I would definitely build my team around LeBron James. Not saying that just because I'm from Cleveland, but I do think that he's the most complete player in the game right now. And I think that putting pieces around him would be a lot easier than putting pieces around anybody else. Uh, the best advice I ever received was from my dad is probably do your homework. And he didn't really mean it in the sense of actually schoolwork, homework, but meaning just in general, like preparation. So I, I think that was the best uh, advice he could ever give.